Coming back. Got him. Oh, wow. I think it cracked it. Simco, we're back. Check it out. Oh, cucumbers are back. The cucumbers are back. What's up everybody, Joey here. We are on Lake Simcoe. I am sorry I have been MIA. It's been a rough start to this. It's been a rough start to the season, but we are coming back. We're coming back strong. We're gonna get some content out for you guys and girls and anglers of all trade. So stay tuned. Uh, we're chasing whitefish today. Lakers, burbot, whatever wants to bite. Honestly, I don't just, uh, <laughs> what's those words? I'm literally hyped up right now. I just bonked two right off the bat. I'm pretty stoked. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. What the heck? Here he comes back. Oh, my drag is so loose. My drag was so loose. Oh, I, I, for sure I'm going to lose this guy. Unless he ate it good. But... There's another one on the bottom too. Oh gosh, took me a while to hook up. I had to switch it up. I put a net head with a set the hook drifter on. You know, something a little bit more finesse. I can rip it around, have it flutter around more. Oh gosh, and we got him up. <laughs> wow, it's been a while. I've been I've been tracking how long they've been coming in. And I'm on like a 15 minute to almost half hour before I, I see these fish. So that's a good one. We're going to send that one home actually. Woo! Probably horrible. <laughs> horrible camera skills there. But that was interesting. I, uh, I made a switch up because I was using Amigs before. And I had a vibrato on. And I just wasn't getting the the results that I wanted. They weren't sticking around. And part of it is probably because the bottom is a lot of boulders and, and shell. So I wanted to get I wanted something to like where I can rip it and it's got that slow fall where it can really reach out in different areas. And I can see that on my panoptics. I'm able to see where it darts out to. So it's definitely calling them in at a little bit better rate. Because it can hit different areas of that bottom. So that's the bait we're using. And it's just on a net head with a drifter. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, use what they want. Sometimes a little plastic is what they want. And I got this on an ice custom rod. Okay, this one right here is a 36 medium light. So the rod is gonna be a huge player when you're using these plastics. Why? Because when you're using these kind of plastics, they're really light. So if you have like a medium heavy on, or if you have um, even just a medium, I think. A lot of rods out there have that stiffer action because it's a smaller rod. If you use a stiffer rod for a light lure, you're not gonna feel that bottom or that lift at a good rate. Sometimes having that little bit of a lighter tip allows you to really feel that quarter ounce weight work the bottom. So when you do get that load and they lift it up or they give you a hit, you're able to really feel that. And uh, it's just a matter of matching the right weight, the right lure per each rod. I got a rod that has the Meigs on it, and that's a 36 medium heavy. And then I got another rod that has a vibrato, that's a 36 medium, it's got a little bit of lighter tip. And then I got my plastics rod, which is a 36 medium light. And it's just got that faster tip, or really feel that quarter ounce to even one eighth of an ounce uh, net head really lightweight especially from 30 40 feet of water it's hard to feel that when you got 10 pound braid and 10 pound leader it's really hard to feel that but when you can scale down the rod but still have that solid backbone you know before that tip you know you got almost from here to here backbone to get these fish up so pair that up with like a 2500 series reel a big reel lots of line you're laughing absolutely laughing and uh, as well, a little rundown. <laughs> Let's get some more. On again. Here we go. Wow. That was quick. I literally just released that fish and we're hooked up again. This is what I'm talking about. 
that little bit of a change up. I've waited like three hours, bang and bottom, and there's more down there to be caught. I can see there's more down there right now. Sometimes it's just that magic hour you get. And boom, another one. Easy, 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 easy. Give me the line. Check it out. Net head to the dome. To the dome. I feel like I'm cradling a baby right now. Easy, easy. Net head to the dome. Beauty. Another fish, another one landed. We're gonna throw that one back right away. He's down, he's gone. It was just moments of releasing that last fish. You know, sometimes that little bit of commotion where it can dart, you know, using those plastics, there's a lot. There's the set the hook drifter, there's handmade custom gobies, another one that I really like to use. You know, so many options out there. This lure is just destroyed. I don't even know how I'm catching a fish on it still, but we are it's working look at it it's just ripped it's just absolutely destroyed it's working you don't care There's one. It's right on it. Right on it. Got him. What do we got here? This thing took off. Wow. Saw him come on the screen. That was sweet. This guy's got big head shakes. Oof. Giant head shakes. Big lady. Giant lady. Because I know that. <laughs> Just been cracking them now, baby. Cracking them now, baby. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This guy's big. This is a big whitey. It's so fun catching them on the medium lights, too. This rod is just absolutely bent. Oh gosh, this is a big whitey. Come on, boy. Got him. Get him. Oh, this is a big one. This is a good fish. Hey, 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 Chrome to the dome. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a real big one. He's gotta be like seven seven pounds. It's a good fish. Just shaking that thing on the bottom. And he ate it. He's fresh still. So we're just gonna throw him down the hole. Let him kick off. There he goes. That's cool. Seeing him just go away. Well, that is a wrap. We are done out here it was a fantastic day definitely one of the better days I've had this season uh, so far we're turning things around we're starting to notice some things some subtle differences in using baits and lures and different structures that we're fishing but for the most part we caught a bunch of fish hopefully you got something out of this video and we're gonna catch you on the next one it is cold I'm heading home <laughs>